and welcome to Sunday School for April 18th, 2021. I hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, today we're going to learn about a guy named Zacchaeus, and you can find out the full account of Zacchaeus and the most accurate account of Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. So definitely recommend you look at that. So Jesus was heading into uh, Jericho. Um, Jericho was a town nearby. I probably didn't have a sign like this that said, Welcome to Jericho, but I figured that was an easy way to show you. Uh, and while he was there, um, he got totally uh, surrounded by a big crowd. And of course, I don't have enough space to make a big crowd, but there was this huge crowd that came in around him. Um, and there was this guy named Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus was a tax collector. So when the government said, you have to give us money, he would go around and take the money that the government said. Uh, well, Zacchaeus was had heard that Jesus was in Jericho, and Zacchaeus was in charge of the tax collectors in Jericho, so that's where he was. And um, he was also shorter. He was um, unable to look over the crowd, and there were just so many people in this crowd that were surrounding Jesus, and so he was just unable to look over the crowd. Uh, so, uh, instead of trying to just jump up and down and keep not seeing Jesus and just not having any, uh, not having any uh, good way of seeing Jesus, he decided uh, to run ahead. He knew which way Jesus was walking uh, with the crowd, and he ran ahead, and then he climbed up a tree. And this way he could see, just by looking down, he would be able to see Jesus. Well, Jesus got to the tree, and he stopped. Because he knew that Zacchaeus was there. And so he looked up, up into the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So, Zacchaeus did hurry and come down, and... Uh, he brought Jesus to his house. Uh, and so he spent time at, at his house, Zacchaeus and Jesus, and probably other people were there as well. And uh, Zacchaeus decided uh, uh, to, that his life was going to be changed. Zacchaeus got to meet Jesus and got to hear Jesus and got to see how Jesus loved him so much. And he decided that he was going to give money to the poor, to people who just didn't have enough to be able to eat every day and live in a house and that sort of thing. And also, uh, when he was a tax collector, uh, sometimes he wouldn't just take what the government said. So if the government said, this person needs to give $1, sometimes Zacchaeus would take $4 and keep the other three for himself. And that's one of the reasons why people didn't like him. Because um, he didn't do his job um, in the way that he was supposed to. Instead, he did something so that he would make money off of his job more than he was already being paid. And people would lose money that they really needed uh, for other things. So he decided that he was going to uh, give back the money he was supposed to. So if he took $4 when he was only supposed to take one, he would then give $16 back to the people that he took all that money from. So he was giving to the poor, he was paying back what he, what he took, plus more, uh, if he took more than he was supposed to. And then today, Jesus said, salvation has come to this house, but Jesus had already called him. And so Zacchaeus had been saved, and now Jesus was confirming that. Zacchaeus was changing his life because Jesus saved him. Not He wasn't changing his life so that Jesus would save him. He was changing his life because Jesus had saved him. Zacchaeus was a sinner. That was very uh, easy to point out because he was publicly taking money from people that he shouldn't have, um, and people noticed that. Um, but you and I are sinners too, and uh, so were uh, the people in the crowd. The people in the crowd were sinners. Jesus' disciples were sinners. Um, so there was all of these people that are sinning. Everybody in the world who is a human being except for Jesus was or 
is a sinner. And Jesus came to save people. In fact, in the end of our Luke chapter, Jesus says, The Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. When we're in sin, we're lost from God. And how did Jesus come to seek and save the lost? Well, he came and he taught people and he did miracles, uh, healing people and feeding people with almost nothing and that sort of thing. But the big thing he did was he died on the cross. He died on the cross and he saved us from our sins. And that wasn't the end. We're still in Easter time. Uh, Easter isn't just one day. We have the really big celebration on the day that we have Easter Sunday. But then for several weeks after that, we have Easter still. And so Jesus died on the cross and took our sins away. And then, of course, we know that Sunday after he died on the cross, he came back alive. There was a tomb and that Sunday morning, the ladies came and they found that the tomb was empty. The stone was rolled away and Jesus wasn't there. And why wasn't Jesus there? Not because uh, he, somebody had taken him out of the tomb, but because he was alive again. He had died, he had been put in the tomb, and then he came back alive. And that is how he saved us all from our sins. He saved you from your sins. He saved me from our, my sins. He saved Zacchaeus from his sins. He saved the crowd from their sins. Uh, anybody that believes in Jesus was saved from their sins by Jesus' death on the cross and then resurrection on Easter. So, um, there's a song that I learned as a kid about Zacchaeus, and it goes like this. And there's even little hand motions. I'll do the hand motions that I remember. It goes, Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going for to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. All right. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next week. God's blessings.